good. Okay, I got this from uh, my adventures with Hurt, and this is very appropriate for today's video. We are about to dyno the body, the heart and soul of this C5 Z06 vet. I want to know how much horsepower this little car, this engine, this vehicle puts down before we do anything else. And we've got a special little thing Abel wanted to set up to test this car a little bit further. So off to FR Performance we go. You're fucking baked. Dude, you know, you know why I'm all up like this? I'm fucking working out. Yeah, you are you that? still a free spirit? What? Uh, you gotta feel the vibe. We replaced the overflow tank that was actually broken on the car. We replaced that, so it's time to fire this up and hear the sound of... How many cylinders is this? Four? V what? V8. We got eight cylinders. We got eight cylinders about to fire up and show us what a good time is like. I don't know how much gas this thing has. Let me go around back to get that. The only downside to that is that's probably I just hit red line. <laughs> so it's such a low RPM for Redline, even on this car. It's like 7,000, 6,500. The, the stock uh, C5 is 6,000 RPM. That's all you get. That smells like a V8. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> Positive vibes got me out of this garage. Positive vibes. <laughs> I hate to admit how much I like this car. Yeah, I know. To be honest, very uh, uh, high key, real talk. The uh, suspension being all jacked up, I can feel a little bit of a pull in the steering. Side to side handling is really not as, as easy to tell that uh, one of the suspension <laughs> arms are way up higher. But it's, it's also weird because very narrow power band compared to the RX-7 where that ramps up. This is just like up, up, down, up, down. And uh, it kind of le leads to that whole like torque monster feel to it. I'm curious to see what this looks like on the dyno. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna rev it. He's, he's gonna be, have no idea what type of car that is. <laughs> that bucket made it here? <laughs> I'm a changed man, Abel. Giving up that rubbery life. We go fast now, huh? <laughs> At nice. least I can count on going fast. Repeatedly. We did some quick pulls. She's got, she's got some, uh, some testicular mass. Is it faster than the Lambo? Close. It's close. close. Yeah. Ooh, if you said close, that means it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> It'll beat Frank in his uh, Subaru, oh, that's for man, sure. Let's see. Let's get a rematch. <laughs> pretty dry rotted. Yeah, the frame don't look bad. Yeah, it's it's wild. The the front suspension being bent actually affects the whole suspension. Like as soon as you jack up the front two corners that are good. Oh yeah, it does this. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
close. I don't know if you're stuck though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting caught on the body panel. You get a burnout on the body. <laughs> These tires <are> great. <laughs> We have the challenge of uh, strapping a car with a twisted frame to the dyno. This is gonna be, uh, we're, gonna we're gonna figure this one out. This thing's definitely gonna fly off. All of our other high horsepower cars, strap it, no big deal. This thing, I'm like, ah, oh boy. <laughs> Did I strip do a burnout in it? Uh, yeah, right here, I think. We've got normal double wishbone suspension. The rear is actually gonna be easy. We can just strap it, control arms, all that but it's the front that we're gonna wanna like account for the bend in the car. We're gonna strap this down like it's the three rotor with four straps in the rear. Uh, partially to account for the unknown. Realistically, a car with this amount of horsepower could get away with two fronts, two rears, and call it a day, but I do not wanna make that type of video ever. You see those videos where like the car falls off the dyno? Yeah. That is uh, not my style. You just need two wrap. I know, I know. It ain't like this is a three wrap. <laughs> this piece of shit ain't even gonna make no pounds. I bet you it doesn't make 400. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I bet you it don't make 400. <laughs> got a lot of haters in this room. <laughs> like a portion bar or a... Mm -hmm. Like like the spring, spring, yeah. Yeah. All their cars have that. Oh, okay. Yeah, all of them have that. They got a trick. They must know something. Yeah. Are we hooking up the uh, map sensor to it? <laughs> Man, full air pressure. You know how much boost, <laughs> you know how much boost this thing's gonna make? Mm, zero? <laughs> zero. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the biggest worry isn't the car, it's these rear tires. Uh, they're all 30, like two, oh, okay. but they're gonna have to come down. These, these are either dry rotted or something. You like this engine? Fuck no. Piece of crap. <laughs> L is this, L is that. be the most horsepower, but damn, it does sound good. So we have DC 
decent, decent torque. It's to the 300. It's supposed to be a torquey monster, but okay. We didn't make as much horsepower as we were hoping, and each run got lower and lower, but it sounds pretty good. Rob, if you think that's something, shh, I'm gonna show you some real noise and some power.